Welcome to the Hawthorne Studio. My name is Jessica and today we're going to be making candles for testers, but I just got in the new wooden wick fragrances and this is my first time trying them out. So I got cocoa, ganache, and vanilla truffle, which is white cocoa, milk froth, vanilla bean, chocolate truffle, and melted butter. That sounds amazing. So we're gonna try that one first. And then we're going to make these four into testers and hopefully the hat throws there. I'm only gonna use 8%, but let's try the cocoa and ganache first. Am I saying that right, ganache? I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, that definitely smells like chocolate. Scent strips. Let's get like an accurate it smells like something, I just can't put my finger on it. Like a candy. Well, maybe it's because I eat a lot of white truffles, <laughs> clearly, but it, it does smell exactly the way it says it would. It smells like white chocolate. It smells really good. I really like this one. I don't know how it's gonna, it, I feel like it's gonna drown in my candles, but we'll see. This is the one I was super excited for. It's this word, if you can pronounce it, good for you, but I surely can't. Um, Opa, Op, Opapanix, an oriental musk. Close enough. It is a top note of orange zest, basil leaf, tonka bean, middle note of sandalwood, oak moss, and a base note of my three favorites, which is cashmere musk, amber, and cedar wood. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my God. That's good. I don't know where the Oriental anything is coming out of this name, but whatever this is, I am here for it. Hello. Oh yeah, that could be a, that could be cologne. And I know some people don't like cologne scents or whatever, but no. Mm. Oh yeah, if this one does really well, it's definitely going in my line. This is, this is really good. I like this a lot. So that strange word plus oriental musk is A plus. That one so far is my favorite. This is the other one I was really excited for. It's Santal and black cardamom. So hello, Santal. Yes, everyone loves Santal. Um, top, well, I shouldn't say everyone. <laughs> uh, top note is sandalwood, black cardamom. Middle note is amber and water lily. And then the base note is musk and vanilla. So this one is not as um, in-depth complex, but let's see what it smells like. Oh, this is a, this is something. This is <laughs> super helpful. This smells like something. Well, clearly, um, no, this smells, oh yeah, that's good. What does it smell like? This is something, I know it is, I swear. Like it smells, again, this one also smells very perfumish, very sexy. Oh, it smells like something, gosh. I wish I, if any of you have tried this one, let me know what you think it smells like. It smells like something that I have smelled before and I think it was like a cologne or something like that. And then the last one is Pomesco and Pink Raspberries, which I think would be super fun. Um, this, I bet it's gonna be very bubbly. I mean, <laughs> the top note is apple, raspberry, sparkling champagne. Middle note is lily, pink, jasmine, and peach. And base note is coconut and sugar. So I don't know why I shake my bottles. It doesn't need to be shaken. Ooh, okay, this also smells like something familiar. <laughs> what are these smells? I swear, I'm like the worst person at describing things. This one, this one is very feminine. And I would, I almost thought it would be more brighter. But to me, it's almost like the coconut and sugar really mellowed out. In the peach, peach is clear as day. 
I definitely 100% smell the peach and that's because I hate peaches. So I'm like, oh yeah, my enemy is in here. <laughs> oh yeah, but regardless of the fact that I hate peaches, it smells really good. And if you are a peach fan, this is definitely one you should get. I don't really smell the, the raspberries as strong or the sparkling champagne, but every nose is different, so you're probably gonna have a different experience. However, let's talk about these two are my absolute favorite. This Oriental Musk and the Black Cardamom. Oh my God, I think I like the um, Oriental Musk more. <sighs> you know, they tell you not to inhale fragrances. <laughs> They're like, it could cause cancer or something like that. And I'm like, let me inhale harder. Oh God, that is a hard toss. I think if I can get a throw out of both of these, these are definitely going in my line. Which one, I'm not 100% sure. It might replace Oud Patchouli and Resin and it might replace um, one of my other more masculine scents. But. I'm, I'm a little biased though because I love masculine cologne scents, so take my like review with a grain of salt. But let's go ahead and make these into candles. I just got in all of my wooden wick aura jars, so ta da! I actually have a light switch. Just up here. It's like magic, right? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna be using these jars. I'm gonna use gloves when I touch these because they honestly smear really easy and not intentional, but it matches my outfit. All right, so I'm gonna make four. I'm honestly probably gonna make more than that, but I don't know. I have to test these jars in general because I haven't tested the gold ones yet and I know they burn a little bit hotter so we'll put four aside for these new fragrances and I probably want to make four to six more from my actual candle line so I can test them out and then we are going to line everything up so it looks pretty it's just me being super OCD you don't have to line them up you do you, you live your best life. And we're going to get started. Also, if you're wondering how I'm getting followed around the room, which I think is super cute, hello technology. It is this little device called a Pivo. I want to keep wanting to call it Privo, but it's actually Pivo. And it follows me around the room. So no matter where I go, you can see what I'm doing. How? cool is that super cool so you're probably gonna see my light here um i also have to grab the ones that i'm going to be using for my line and they're right here so i have cedar and myrrh i'm going to be using orchid and black amber cardamom tea and grapefruits Lavender and Lang, love this one. And then, you know what? I think that's fine for right now. I, I'm missing one, but I don't know which one it is. Cardamom tea, Lavender and Lang. Too loud. Good patchouli resins. Okay, so and that was Cappy Plum. So we're just gonna do these eight for right now, and hopefully they work out really well. I'm getting super close to my launch, and if you're not tired of listening to me already, I am really excited for it. I have been working on candle making for over a year now and it it shouldn't take this long however with my short schedule the fact that I work 70 hours a week and all of that other fun stuff it's just how it is so this is what the lineup looks like right now and 
we need wax so a lot more wax This is not graceful, by the way, and hopefully this isn't banging too loud on the phone, but I keep my wax in these Ikea tins. They're called Ikea 365 Plus Designer Sarah Frazier. It doesn't have an Ikea name, but I use these for my Ikea because they fit about 15 pounds, 5, 10, 15, yeah, 15 pounds. And that's good enough for me. So I need to kind of chop this up in chunks so I can put this in my Presto pot. This is not the fun part of candle making. Let's see, I have eight. 12 ounce jars. I'm gonna put 12. I know they say 11, but I feel like it looks too empty with 11, so I'm gonna put 12 ounces in each. And I'm gonna do 8% fragrance load. And with that 8%, I'm going to be doing all the four new fragrances and four from my lineup. And hopefully, one of these Santal Black Cardamom or the Oriental Musk is gonna work really well and I can add that to my line last minute. And, but it really just depends on the hot throw. So we're gonna wait about like two weeks to test the hot throw because I want an accurate representation. And if you're testing your coconut apricot wax before two weeks, you're doing yourself a disservice because coconut apricot really, really shines at the two week mark or later. One of my candle friends, Charlene, hey Charlene, um, she gave me, a, I bought a candle from her that's been curing for like over a month and oh my god, was it so strong. It smelled amazing and it lit up my whole house. So. And I've used those fragrances before, same setup and same everything, and I've never let it cure for more than a few days before testing it. And I was like, oh, so this is the difference. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth the cure time. Plus, I think one of people's concerns is that, are they gonna be able to get product out fast enough? because waiting two weeks is a long time to restock, and I agree. But natural waxes also harden longer over time. And as a result, your wicks may be long if you are using, I'm sorry, I'm cleaning and talking and it's not working. If you are using a natural wax, and you don't let it cure for two weeks, and you try to wick it after 24 hours, you're gonna get a wick that is not going to work in two to four weeks because your wax is going to get harder and stronger and the oils are going to mingle a little bit differently two weeks down the line. It is a whole chemical scientific process. It is really quite interesting. However, it's not fun for candle makers because I gotta wait. Like I have a soap curing back there. I made my first cold process soap with my husband and I have to wait four to six weeks to even use it. It sucks, but that's how science is. It sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. Science is awesome. I love science. That's why I'm totally into this whole um, candle making and soap making and making serums and body butters and all of that stuff because it is literally so much fun for me to just experiment. Okay, I have to go grab some beakers and measure out eight different fragrance oils, so I'll probably just shut up and fast forward and we'll go from there and I'll be back for the pour. And we're back. So I'm going to be measuring out my fragrance first. 
I have, well actually I'm gonna go ahead and wick my jars first. I'm pretty sure they're going to need the 0.02 crackling booster wick in a 0.75 size. And we'll see how this works. Hopefully it works out well. Um, and then we are going to be measuring it out. We're gonna do 8% fragrance load, which means we are going to need 11.11 .11 ounces of wax and 0.89 ounces of fragrance. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully everything does well. So right now I have my wax heating and I have my temperature set for 201 and this will alert me when we get to that point. So I'm just keeping an eye out on it right now. So far so good. And then I have all of my pouring pitchers lined up here. Um, these are just mini like metal espresso cups, super cute, but they are great for single pours. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on the wicking process first. And I'm going to cheat because I had my husband 3D print a wick center tool for the bottom of the jar. So I place it on the bottom and that lets me know where the center of the jar is. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this. I am not looking forward to pouring eight different fragrance oils one at a time. It's different when you're doing like a large bulk, but when it comes to pouring individual ones, it's a little bit more tedious and a little bit um, harder to do, at least in, in my opinion. I don't like pouring one of each fragrance for one single candle jar. It'd be easier if I had a large pitcher like one of these and I could just pour them all at once but that's not our situation right now, so we'll deal with it. All right, um, I'm going to shut up and just start wicking these. Okay, we're beating. We are at 200 degrees, so let's go ahead and start pouring. Okay, so we are all done pouring all the testers. I have all four new ones, as well as four that I was going to put into my line. I am super excited. Everything smells so good. My room, my studio smells so good. Now, that's pretty much all I have for today. This has been a lot to do um, right before work. So FYI, I will be going live with Wooden Wick Co. on February 12th at 4 p.m. PST, and you should have gotten an email marketing. If not, I will drop a link down below on where you can sign up, but I really hope that you will be there with me because low-key, a little nervous, but super, super excited for the opportunity, and well, I get to meet my favorite supplier, so what's not to like? So. Go ahead and follow my Instagram at Hawthorne Company. My website's hawthornecompany.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and the notification bell. And thank you so much for being here with me today. I will show you the end results in a two week test burn, two weeks exactly from now. Thanks so much guys. Bye loves.